In the last second video, I taught you the three question story half and there I ended where the king dug the ground two hours and thereafter he finally asked the hermit to reply to his questions. But before giving the replies to the king, a bearded man wounded or attacked by his bodyguard came to the hut, fainted on the ground. He was taken care, fully taken care or redressed by the king and in the morning time, the bearded man asked for his forgiveness, king's forgiveness. He gave the reason for his forgiveness in detail to the king. From there, the story starts today. So let's begin. Let's explore what happened next. I left my hiding place and I came upon your bodyguard. He wanted to kill me and he finally wounded me. I escaped. I left the place soon and ran to save my life. And when took, you took care of mine so much that I saved myself. The bearded man felt grateful to the king. Therefore, he asked for his forgiveness. He said, I and my son, I will serve you as your most faithful servant and will order my sons to do the same. Now he has become a faithful, a very loyal servant. Throughout his generation, throughout his life, he would serve the king. And he said, forgive me. He asked for his forgiveness. Okay. In the morning, the king found his enemy. The bearded man as his enemy. He asked for the king's forgiveness. And now the king was very happy to have made peace with his enemy. Now, he was so impressed and so pleased that he thought that he would help the bearded man also. And that's why he not only forgave the person, but also he helped the bearded man. He promised to send his servants and his own doctor to look after him. The king also promised to give him back his property. So like that, the bearded man became a loyal friend, loyal servant to the king. Leaving the wounded man, the king went out of the hut. He looked around for the hermit. Why? Because he came to the hut just to have the replies to his questions. He had not forgotten. Before going away, finally, for the last time, he wanted to get his answers to his questions. That time also, the hermit was busy. He was sitting on his knees. He was sowing seeds in the beds that had been dug the day before. You know, he continued to dig and the king also dug the ground, two beds. They finished their task and therefore the bearded man came. So, that in that bed, the hermit was sowing seeds for farming. The king, king went up to the hermit. And finally said, for the last time I beg you to answer my questions, wise man. So like that, he asked again and again and for the last time he asked his replies to his questions from the hermit. And thereafter, hermit gave his answers or still he went away from this hut. Let's find out. The king requested the hermit to answer his questions, the hermit replied that his questions had already been answered. The hermit explained in detail that if you had not pitied my weakness yesterday, if you had not taken care of mine, if you had not dug the beds for me, you would have gone away. Then that man, the bearded man hiding behind a tree to kill you, would have attacked you, murdered you. And if you would have wished, you had stayed with me. And so 
the most important time was when you were digging the beds that was the most important task that time in your life why that digging task saved your life you had not left the hut and for this reason you were saved and i was the most important man i stopped you because of me or just help me you dug the beds so that time i was the most important man and you had done good to me so good task was your most important business so like that he explained three answers with example first and then after he had given the answer in a proper way in the next part we will find out that another example he had given afterwards he gave the example of the bearded man when the man ran to us the most important time was when you the king were taking care of that bearded man because if he had not dressed his own if he had not taken care redressed the person stopped his bleeding he would have died without having made peace with the king so taking care good action for the bearded man was his most important action the most important person that time was the bearded man so the hermit said the bearded man was the most important man and what you did for him the good action taking care he dressed gave water lay down him on the bed those actions for the bearded man was your most important business so like that he explained the answer the hermit replied his questions in a proper way finally that now is the best time to begin doing work for nobody knows whether he will have any time in the future or not the king had just put his questions when he pitied the hermit later on it proved to be the best time had he not done so and gone back his enemy would have killed him so now is the most important time because it is the only time we have any power to act do whatever the god the destiny the day is giving to you to your hand do your actions only at that time now in your life is also now is the most important the most necessary person is the person you are with at a particular moment with whom you are he was or he is the most important person for no one knows what will happen in the future and whether we will meet anyone else in future and uh, the alone should be listened to for these are the only people whom one can consult one can discuss one can talk at once third reply the most important business to do that person good because we were sent into this world for that purpose alone to do good for the people present is the most important thing according to the hermit he said this it was the hermit's reply to the third question according to the hermit man was sent on earth for this purpose alone so from this lesson we learnt that the three replies not only will make the king successful it will make successful us also it can bring these three replies can bring success in our life also for this reason this lesson is being taught to you so from this lesson you get the message that whenever you are means at this time you have the proper time now with whom you are the most important person and whatever you will do just do good to others for this reason we were sent into this we are sent into this world okay i hope you have understood you have enjoyed the story and here the story ends but in your life the messages the replies the learnings from this lesson will start to follow on if you have loved the story then you write your comment that you have loved 
and you need more and more videos like this. Subscribe my channel, press the bell icon to get the notifications very soon. Write your doubts also that I can solve your doubts also. Write your queries, your questions, your doubts in the comment box. So for today, goodbye.